this Madison Square Garden UFC Middleweight Championship fight underway. Bisping wearing the black and gold. George St. Pierre in gray. We'll call it white. We'll see how early George St. Pierre chooses to shoot. Most opponents have known what's coming from GSB and they can't stop it. And it's just trying to miss well. You have to look out for, of course. He's got a beautiful left jab. Outstanding takedown defense. Very good submission ability. And that's something to consider. He's been spending a lot of time with the Donaher death squad. So look for leg locks and all kinds of crazy attacks from George that maybe we didn't see in his prior title reign. I want to say something, but I feel like my heart's in my throat. It's beating so fast. <laughs> this night's been so crazy, right? It's like I can't get words out. And I love the talk. Right. My goodness, watching these two in the octagon right now is just like George St. Pierre is back. And he's fighting my man Mike. Oh! And he caught him with a right hand over the up. top. And he looks smooth. George looks good. He, he looks, looks relaxed. Big. He looks very big <laughs> and relaxed. This being has won five in a row, seemingly getting better with age in terms of his training. His Mike, Mike's got some redness over his eye already, man. That's that jab of George St. Pierre, John. These guys both have cut and swelled easily in the past in the UFC. 90 plus seconds gone by here round one. George looking for that right hand in a big way. Fighting more aggressive than he normally does. And Bispin, I think it's the takedown threat that's making him actually back up a little bit. You know, Mike's normally a forward uh, charging fighter. Mike's a guy that likes to push the pace and go forward. Right now he's having to set back a little bit more than he normally would because of the takedown of Willow with George St. Pierre. And one of the things that Mike said is that the reason why he feels, oh, beautiful jab by George. The reason why he feels that George wanted to fight him is because they trained together in 2006 and George got the better. He took him down at will and Mike said he was a terrible wrestler back then, but he's much better now. The question is, is George much better now as he just lands a front leg round kick? Round So far, George is very composed. His footwork looks excellent. Now Mike's starting to come forward a little bit. This is going to be his best path to victory. He's going to have to give up a couple takedowns to be able to fight in the way that he's used to fight. It. She has a chance raining down here at MSG. Just over two minutes here to go round one. If you ever question the star power of George St. Pierre after four years away, don't anymore. Oh, oh he clips him with the right hand. He's just wow. as popular as he's ever been, and he's fighting phenomenal right now. Oh, beautiful jab. And Bisping fires back with the right hand. So St. Pierre content to exchange on the feet, and he's been successful thus far. Right hand lands over the top for St. Pierre. His timing looks very good. Yep. I mean, especially considering how long he's been out of the octagon. Seems fast. The jab's fast, the movement's fast, and because of the size, the new weight that he's put on, he has the ability to actually pressure the bigger guy, Michael Bisping. We were told St. Pierre really started to put it together over the last final weeks. The question is, how does he carry all this extra muscle into the champion championship round if it goes that long? Five-minute championship yeah, distance four times. Over. Look at that finish there by George St. Pierre. Yeah. High front shot. He picked the back ankle by reaching all the way across. What a fantastic Mark finish to a high crotch by George St. Pierre. High crotch with the right side. Picks takes the left up. arm. Runs it through the middle to knee pick Michael Bisping. The right back up by Michael Bisping. And that's what he's known for. Bisping is very difficult to hold down. And Bisping able to use the fence to his advantage to get right back up. But this Bisping. confirms what Michael Bisping was hesitant about. Oh, yeah. Back up Bisping's attention. Now a spinning attack. Final seconds of round one. And you can have all the success in the world against Michael Bisping early. He 
does build as the fight goes. Superman jab. How often do you see that? And just barely miss with that wheel kick. Look at that. Boom! Catches him on the chin, off balance. Michael Bisbee here tonight. Get up. He was omnipresent in Montreal, and that is a huge source of confidence for the returning George St. Pierre. George with a sidekick. Mixing it up, mixing up his kicks. I feel like Bisman's going to have to take the center of the octagon zone. He has to get back to fighting in the style with the pressure that Michael Bisman is so well known for. Yeah, he's more, more active. He's got to yes. do something different. He's got to be more active with his hands, more pace and pressure, and really make George St. Pierre carry this extra weight uh, that, he, that he's brought into the octagon tonight. I think it's what you said. I think it's the threat of the takedown that's making him hesitate. 12 UFC title fight wins for George St. Pierre. Last finish though against PJ Penn, UFC 94, all the way back in 09. George is so good with that jab. So good at catching him in those little brief openings when Michael's trying to close the distance. by St. Pierre on the feed here. There's that side kick, and he's doing it from the back leg. It's very unusual. Stepping in and throwing a side kick to the body. Oh, he caught that kick and landed the left hook. George is really threatening with that. Look, look at that beautiful combination with the right leg kick, but he's really threatening with that front leg round kick to the face. Michael's got to be careful about that because it, it comes without a switch. He's doing it Kyokushin, Kyokushin karate style, where he just lifts up the leg and throws it. Now he's throwing that jab to the body, hoping to get Mike's hands down some. Oh, oh right here, my business. His most right significant hit. strike of the fight. And he caught George as he was trying that inside leg kick. Now here comes Bisping. This is the pressure he needs to have. Bisping just out of range with that uppercut. Gorilla didn't want him loading up. That's what he's doing largely though here in round two. Now, as we're moving into the second round, the question becomes, are we seeing George St. Pierre slow down? He's breathing pretty heavy. Because Michael Bisping can go for days. You fight this guy, you better pack a lunch. <laughs> GSP's got a pretty good ladder going. Two minutes left in the round. There's a jab, double jab, double it up. And now he's got Mike down in the center of the octagon, away from the fence that did the use so much to get back to his feet. Unbelievable timing, and then a great finish on a takedown by George St. Pierre. In a very close round, big takedown. There's been brought in a lot of collegiate wrestlers to help him during this training camp. He said a bunch of animals, but George just took a big deep breath as well. Oh, right hand over the top by Bisping. Here comes Bisping. He's picking it up now a little bit. Look at him. He's gaining some confidence, some swagger. Going forward now into George St. Pierre. And this could very well be where the activity and the cardio of Bisping takes off. Fun. Left hand over the top. Big deep breath from George St. Pierre as Bisping continues to find his range. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Significant strike picture, slight advantage for St. Pierre. But you're right, Joe, visibly slowing down. Visibly. And we're only in round two. This could be terrible for him if he can't rebound. He doesn't get a second win. Because as you yeah, said, 
does not tire. He does Bisping not. will fight at this pace for 25 minutes, if not harder, as the fight goes longer. And he's sensing that George is slowing. Yes. And look at that. Right hand and a left high kick right behind it. Good kick to the body, but a good right hand return by Bisping. Bisping most certainly got momentum on his side now. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's, out. it's broken. Michael Bisping's cup is broken. They have to pull the string up and tape it in the back. SP needs a mouthpiece. Bisping can use a new cup <laughs> just when you think you've seen it all. Yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly sure how he's got that cup set in there. Is it just sitting in his underwear? It's yeah. just sitting in his underwear. That's not good. That That is terrible. Get up. This could be a huge factor, yeah. folks. Especially if he gets kicked there. Third round of a possible five here. Michael Bisping, the champ in black and gold. George St. Pierre in white. Back on that high crotch. Again, he gets the take down. Bisping doing a great job of actually getting his hips. Feet on the hips right away. Nope. He can't settle here. Good elbows on the bottom from Bisping. But he still can't settle on the bottom. It allows St. Pierre to not only control him, but to rest a little bit. Right. He's fighting in the positions that he's very comfortable. Well, he had to be expected with the early shot from St. Pierre would be coming in round three, unable to stop it. This thing is trying to set up an arm. He's trying to hold on to the right arm of George St. Pierre. He's cut. Watch the back of the St. Pierre's cut. Bad. Those elbows from the bottom could be nasty. He's right slicing to it, yeah. He's slicing across the face of those. Choosing to stay offensive off his back as opposed to trying to get up at least for now. This thing has a really underrated defensive guard, and you're seeing that here. When George elevates, he puts his feet on the hips. When George is down, he locks him up in close guard and hits him with elbows. Bro, George is not getting anything door. off. This has been worse for him on top than it has been for Bisping on the bottom. Bisping is doing a good job of getting damage off. Yeah, there he just took a pretty good elbow from St. Pierre. But you can't be getting control, right? You cannot be on your back with the guy even landing strikes at all. Right, but he, he does this trick where he throws a shot and then tries to step over the leg. He's gotten it off in the Ooh. past on other fighters, but he's not getting it off on Bisping. Bisping, Bisping just slid him open really bad there. Yeah. Yep. Posted off his forehead and then elbowed him. He just cut him real bad. Yep, there's one on the nose and now a bigger one on the forehead. And this has been way worse for George St. Pierre on top George, than it has been for Bisping on the bottom. Now Bisping back to his feet. And he's cut over. Yep. And Bisping fresh as a daisy. Bouncing around as we approach the midpoint of round three. Cuts are due to elbow. George having a real hard time seeing. He keeps wiping his eyes. The blood is flowing into his eyes. Overhand right by St. Pierre lands there. Nice right hand for GSP. But more often than not, at least over the last 10 minutes, he's been one and done. You got two minutes in Kiron and, and the, the elbows of Bisping have split St. Pierre open. Great combination by St. Pierre there. And I'm, I'm wondering if Bisping can kick. Look, there he goes. But with that cup like barely hanging in his underwear, I mean, he's moving all over the place. St. Pierre's really trying to time that right hand coming over the top of the Bisping jab. But he's loading up so bad that he's missing and he's missing awkwardly. Seconds now to go in the round.
He understands that he could be gassed a little. Get the ball. Get the ball. It's over. It's over, Joe. It's over, Joe. It's over, Joe. It's over, Joe. It's over. here. This is where he got cut. He got sliced with an elbow from the bottom. All sorts of adversity because of all that blood flowing into his eyes. And here's the punch. Bam! Perfectly placed left hook. Bisping's in all sorts of trouble. Well, the illusion that he can get to his knees and get up. St. Pierre jumps on the back. Right away in the Texas rear choke. One punch. One punch right arm slides, slides the arm underneath. through. I mean, that is perfect. Michael Bisping won't tap, but GSP puts him to sleep. There's no defense here. His yeah, he's left back, hand, his left hand pulled. is behind his head. Yeah. There's no defense. You are supposed to attack the top hand. The top hand's hidden. That's the that's the rear choke. 